For language, we are going to be working with linking verbs again, but we're also going to introduce a new kind of um, term for a verb called a helping verb that we might not be familiar with. So let's do a little bit of review first of all. So remember, verbs are usually the action part of a sentence, but yesterday we learned a new type of verb as well. So these are what verbs can do. They can show the action that a subject is doing, right? It can link ideas between the subject of the sentence and something that describes that subject or renames that subject, okay? So we can have verbs that show action. We can show uh, verbs that link a subject to something else. And then the third one is a helping verb, which helps other verbs. It tells us when the action is happening. So we're going to be working with linking and helping verbs today. So remember, linking verbs link ideas. So I can say, Mrs. Lefebvre is a teacher. So that is, is a linking verb. It's connecting Mrs. Lefebvre and teacher. Remember, the linking verb is kind of like an equal sign in our grammar. Okay, and then the helping verb, um, I could say, um, Mrs. Lefebvre is teaching about verbs. Okay, so that means that that word is is a helping verb. It's telling when Mrs. Lefebvre is teaching about verbs. So listen again. Mrs. Lefebvre is teaching about verbs. So it, uh, the helping verb is tells us when. When I was using the linking verb is, I was telling you Mrs. Lefebvre is a teacher. Okay, so I'm going to show you some examples. I'm going to show you lots of examples. So hopefully this will make sense and be clear to you. Okay, so I have some sentences here, all right? So this first one, George eats a pizza. This is an action verb. So it's telling us what the subject is doing. Subject is eating, right? So this is an action verb. Eats shows action. That's an action verb. Now look down here. George is a pizza eater. Okay, so this word, this verb right here is a linking verb because it's connecting George and renaming him as a pizza eater. Okay, so they're linked together by this linking verb is. George, pizza eater. George is a pizza eater. That is, is a linking verb. Okay, and then what we're going to be working more with today is these helping verbs, okay? So look at this sentence. George is eating a pizza. Now eating, that is an action word, right? Is is a helping verb. It's letting us know that this eating is happening right now. Is is showing present tense for when this eating is happening. George is eating a pizza, it means right now. So this word is is acting like a helping verb because it's telling us when the eating is happening. Okay, let's look at this last one. George was eating a pizza. So here, was is a helping verb because it's telling us that this eating was happening in the past. It's not happening right now, such as in this sentence, George is eating a pizza. It was George was eating a pizza. We know that that action was happening sometime in the past because of this helping verb. Okay, all right, so let's take a look at some examples on your workbook page 191. Okay, so we're looking at this page right here. Okay, and I want you to look at this top box with me. All right, so the first thing we're talking about are the helping verbs. Okay, so we have the words am, is, are, was, and were. And they're used with an action verb. So that's what you can remember about the helping verbs. They're used with an action verb, where a linking verb doesn't have the action. It's just making a connection between a description or a renaming of the subject. Okay, so that's one way to keep it in your, in your mind. Linking verbs just link. They don't show action. Helping verbs make the action more clear. And these are helping verbs. Am, is, are, was, and were with an action word will give you a helping verb. So look at our sentence. The miner is going underground. So going is an action verb. This helping verb right here is 
is telling us that this is happening right now, is going. It's not in the past, right? Uh, the minor is going underground. Okay, now we're going to look at linking verbs here. Okay, so remember linking verbs don't show action. They are connecting a description or a renaming of the subject. So we also use these words am, is, are, was, and were. But they stand alone as the main verb. They are not used with an action verb. Okay, so this one has an action verb to go with it. This is the helping verb. Now, the same word, but it doesn't have any actions word, action words with it. It's just linking. It's telling us what the minor is. It's describing him. The minor is courageous. So this one is a linking verb, and this one is a helping verb. But did you notice that these words are the same? Am, is, are, uh, was, were. They're the same words, but the way we use them decides whether it's going to be a linking verb or a helping verb. Okay, this looks a little bit confusing, but it really is not, okay? So they're just reminding us. If we are talking about a singular noun, okay, and they gave us the, the example gold, but we can think of lots of different singular nouns. The boy, the girl, the teacher, the mother, right? That would be a singular noun. It means one person, place, or thing, right? So when we're talking about one person, place, or thing, we use this, uh, the, the verb is, okay? It can, we can use is as a linking verb or is as a helping verb, okay? Either way, whenever we have a, a singular noun, we've got to use the linking verb is, okay? Or the helping verb is. If it's a singular pronoun, so remember we studied pronouns a while ago. Those are he, she, it, right? Those are singular pronouns. Pronouns take the place of a noun. So we would still use is, all right? If it's a singular noun or pronoun, we're going to use is for the helping or linking verbs. Okay, if it's plural, they gave us the example of pans, like cooking pans or gold mining pans, right? So if we're talking about pans, that means plural noun, more than one person, place, or thing. Then we use are for our linking or helping verb, okay? And we could think of lots of plural nouns. We could say the students are, right? We could say um, the, the minors are, the parents are. So any plural noun, we're going to use are. Same with plural pronouns. So if it's they or we, we use the linking or helping verb are. If it's I, so I can say, I am tired, I would use the word am, or I could say, I am talking to you, right? So either way, the, the helping verb or the linking verb is going to be am. And when we're talking about you, it's always going to be are. You are tired, you are listening, okay? So either way, linking verb or helping verb, this is a chart just to help us to remember. But... I know that you guys are very good grammarians and a lot of times it just sounds right, okay? So you can always take a look back this, but I, I really recommend that you read out loud so that you can see the difference in the wrong and the right answers. Okay, so when you're trying to decide if it's a helping verb or a linking verb, take a look at this chart and ask yourself, does it help an action verb? Is letting us know when the action is happening? Or is it linking a subject to a noun or an adjective? Is it just making that equal sign, right? To make sure that there's a connection between the subject and its description or also the subject and a renaming. So that would be linking and helping. Okay, so we are going to write H if the underlined verb is a helping verb and write L if the underlying verb is a linking verb. Okay, so let's read our sentence carefully. Shetland ponies are used as pack horses in coal mines. Okay, so is this a linking verb? Are we getting a description for Shetland ponies or a renaming? Or are, is it paired with an action verb? Okay, so I see an action verb right here, are used. That's letting us know that it's, being, it's happening right now. Shetland ponies 
are used, okay? So this would be H for helping verb, okay? Helping verb. Okay, let's look at number two. These ponies are strong. Okay, so is there an action verb in this sentence? Okay, is this helping an action verb? Or is this linking these horses and their description? Okay, so this would be a linking verb because it's linking ponies with strong. They're linking the noun with the adjective. Okay, so this is a linking verb. Okay, let's look at number three. A Shetland pony is short. Okay, mm. is there an action verb in the sentence? Okay, so if this was a helping verb, it would be telling us when the action happens. But is there an action happening? No, this is a linking verb. It's connecting Shetland pony with a description which is short. So this is a helping verb, this is a linking verb, and this is a linking verb. Okay, so let's look at uh, the next section. We're going to underline the linking verb twice. Okay, so this is where we're going to go back up to this chart and make sure that we're using the, the, proper, um, the proper linking verb. Okay, so here we have precious gems, precious gems, and then we have the word beautiful. So we know this is a linking verb telling us a description of precious gems. So would we put, say precious gems are beautiful or precious gems is beautiful? Okay, so I'm noticing that this gems is plural, right? It's more than one noun. So you can go up here to more than one noun and you look and you see that the linking verb is are. So precious gems are beautiful. And it sounds better too, right? Okay, so let's look at number five. Coal is or are a good source of heat. Okay, so we want to link this descriptor, a good source of heat, with coal. So which of these is the linking verb we're going to use? Let's listen. Coal is a good source of heat, or coal are a good source of heat. Well, this is a singular noun, okay? It's just one uh, material, so we come up here to our singular noun, and we see that the proper tense of the linking verb is is. Coal is a good source of heat. So you would underline is twice. Okay, number six. Some plastics are or is minerals from the ground. Okay, so I'm looking at my linking verb. This is the description that goes with some plastics. And I'm seeing this word some, that adjective some, that's telling me that there are quite a few, right? And then this word plastics with the S on the end is telling me it's plural. So remember, a plural noun, which linking verb do we use? Are, okay? And it sounds much better too. Listen to it the wrong way. Some plastics is materials from the ground. That doesn't sound okay, does it? Okay, let's listen to it correctly. Some plastics are minerals from the ground. Okay, so we talked about helping verbs, that they are paired with an action verb. They go with an action verb, to tell us when something happened, okay? And linking verbs are just making a connection between the subject and their description or their renaming, okay? So we did this part together. I'm not gonna need a photo of this side, but I would like you to complete the back on your own and you can send a copy in of that. Okay, so boys and girls on this one, you are looking for the correct linking verb Okay, so it's a lot like what we did here, but it's just in paragraph form. So you're going to be looking for the correct form of the verb. You are actually looking for the mistakes, and you're going to write the correct verb on the lines right here.